Hello everybody, my name is Clyde Narcomi. I'm from uh, Elgin, Oklahoma. Live here in Comanche County all my life. Went to school at Elgin. Graduated in 62. Been married since 1970. Still have the same wife. I have one daughter and one grandson. He's four and a half now. I served on the uh, business committee from 2005 through 2011. One of my greatest great accomplishments during that time frame was uh, I had a vital. I was uh, I had a big part in getting the percat for our Comanche people. Matter of fact, uh, I followed our cap all the way from here at the complex. Went with the lawyers to Anadarko. I was uh, in constant contact with uh, George Skibby from uh, Washington, D.C. Once it left Anadarko to go up there to be uh, finalized. Also, I had a, a big part in naming the Woodsy uh, Watchtaker Hall. We have a softball field real close to the complex. We mm -hmm. named that Janice P. Wardy uh, Softball Field. She was uh, almost, uh, almost a professional softball player. Also, uh, I come across the idea for the for the retired military uh, Comanche Nation tags. What the way I look at it, the, uh, I'm for the people. I'm for the Comanche people. That was the reason I pushed for the Percap so hard, because that helps everybody. That helps everybody, not just certain groups. It helps the whole Comanche tribe. Another thing that I'm for. I'm for the 60% in our uh, per cap from gaming. Also, the uh, I like to see us raise the uh, the elder payment from a thousand to fifteen hundred. The reason I'm so uh, behind these two programs is because uh, that way <clears throat> that way the Comanche people will know will know where that money is going. We know it's gonna to go to the people and to the elders. We won't have to guess, say, hey, where did that money go? Where did that money go? Everybody's worried about the money. This way we'll know where some of our money's going. We may not know where other money's going, but we'll know where the per capita's going and where the elder payment is going. So I'll be pushing for that. Another thing too, I just heard, uh, okay, we laid off 43, over 43 people from our capital improvement program. Now, let's just say uh, each of them 43 are married and they got two kids, so that's three. So you got over 200 people that, that, that uh, it involved. Now, capital improvement, they had enough money to pay these people until the end of, about, uh, end of September. Somebody, I don't know who, it had to come from higher up to move that money from capital improvement to something else where, where, where they want that money. But if I get in, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, try to figure out something for, for them 43 families, because that's just way too many. The way I look at it, uh, uh, I'm, for, I'm for our people, not myself. I'm retired, uh, I'm retired military, uh, retired civil service from 2005 to 2011. I was for the people and not myself, and I I'm still, still feel that way. What are your goals for your three-year term, and what is your time frame to accomplish the goals? Well, I think one of the goals, uh, one of the goals is uh, our 638 programs, the federal, our federal funded programs. We're in the what they call we're in, we're uh, we're high risk. In other words, we're not keeping up with the compliances and all the and all the other deals that we're supposed to be keeping up with. 
were high risk and have been. Have been. I think. Uh, I think. I think maybe that's what our what our higher ups. That's, I think that's what they want to be in high risk. But a lot of people don't know. Let's just uh, say, for instance, uh, the child welfare program. We fund money to them and on the on our an, annual budget. The BIA sends us a letter every year that lists our unauthorized expenditures. When we get that letter, they could be in the thousands of unauthorized expenditures. What people don't know, the, the Comanche tribe has to pay that back, the unauthorized expenditures. We've got to pay that back. But we don't say nothing to the director that approved all this. I can never understand that. Uh, I was always, I was always uh, against the director that caused all these unauthorized expenditures. Because if they did it once, well, they're going to do it again. If you don't say anything to them, well, they're just going to, they're going to, they're going to think it's all right. So that's that's one of the things I'm going to try to try to straighten up. Is the uh, is the, our unauthorized expenditures. Another thing. Uh, our, uh, hopefully, hopefully, we're not going to buy any more land because we buy land, you know, uh, from our tribal members, which is all right, but we buy land that's way out in the country and it's just farming, grazing land. There's no no hope of it ever drawing any more than the least money has, has been drawn for the past ever how long these people have had their land. Now we're paying six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars for eighty acres, hundred and sixty acres. The only one that's benefit benefiting is the people that own the land. Now I would be for buying land if there's some sort of potential. Potential land buying is, is a, I, I would be for that. Hopefully I can uh, curb the, uh, uh, all this money being blown on, on land that's the, we're never gonna get our money back. If, you're, uh, if your land is leasing for 5,000 a year uh, and we bought it for 700,000, well, you know, heck, we'll all be dead by the time we get our money back Another thing I like to do, I like for us to start up the cemetery uh, tombstone project again. Uh, we was involved in that when I was uh, a committee member from 2005 to 2011, but it never was completed. Uh, what this tombstone project is is, is uh, uh, giving these uh, the older people that passed away back in the, the 20s and 30s and 40s. They didn't have no uh, means of buying a tomb headstone, and all that's at these cemeteries. It's just a, a slab of concrete with handwritten in that cement who they were, and I like for that to be picked up again. And if it is, I hope I'm put in charge of that because the people, uh, they, you know, they're gone. They can't speak for themselves. But if I get elected, I, I, that's one of the things I'm gonna try to do. If elected, how will you help out? The out-of-state tribal members. Out-of-state tribal members. I think you guys ought to have this have the same same opportunity as the people that live in Comanche County. I think you guys. Anything that these people get here in Comanche County, the Comanches, you guys in California, Arizona. Florida, wherever you live at, you're entitled to anything that's, that we're entitled to. Now, uh, I don't know exactly how to go about it at this time, but if I get elected, that's another thing I'm gonna push for. We need we need to uh, put it put our uh, our CBC group together and come up with a plan for your out of state Comanches. 
I, I, uh, I'm behind that, that idea. I'm behind that thought because uh, you're just as important. You're just as important as anybody here on this complex. Matter of fact, you're more important. You, uh, you're, uh, you don't hear the things that we hear around here. Because, you know, around here it's just, uh, you, hear, you hear what's going on at the complex. Out there where you're at, you know, you don't hear hardly anything. Just what you read in your newspaper. But anyway, yes, I am. I'm for you out-of-state voters, absentee voters. And if I'm on, I'd like to get a little a group with our CBC and figure out, out a way how to better serve you guys out-of-state. Is there anything you would like to add? Yes, uh, there's one thing I'd like to add. For all you guys, all you uh, people, uh, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I lost my mother back in uh, July of last year. So if you still have a mother, if you still have a father, don't be bashful. Tell them that you love them because they don't last forever. That's just like us. We're not going to last forever. But be sure to tell your kids, tell your wife, tell your husband, tell your mother, tell your father, tell them you love them. Because if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. 